Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. So our next destination is St. Augustine, Florida. What do you think so far? I love it. It's the oldest city in America. Yeah, so it's I'm quite really... remarkable. Uh, what is it, 1565? Yes, 1565, yeah. that's what I read. So I'm really, really curious to see the Colonial Quarter. Yeah. And that's at St. George Street. We're going now towards the Cast Castillo del Muro, I think it's called. It's an old Spanish fort. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a beautiful day too. It's probably about 70 degrees right now. It's just sunny. There's a nice breeze. Yeah, 20 something for our yeah, Celsius. <laughs> Celsius. Yeah. 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 Our non-American friends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Finally, I don't need to use my eye cream or anything. Got this one. The Fountain of Youth is a 15-acre archaeological park located along the waterfront. This historical attraction is where visitors can learn about the Spanish settlers who came to the area in the 1600s. We started our day in St. Augustine with the Fountain of Youth. I don't know if we look younger already. From that? No, I, I think, I think we do. I think it worked already. And now we are going towards the old city center and um, St. George Street apparently is one of the, the most beautiful streets in the Colonial Quarter. We're going to check if the Castillo de San Marco, if the lines are still big because they only allow 100 people inside. So there were big lines this morning when we left already. And then later on, we're probably gonna go to the lighthouse and if we have time to the alligator's farm. And that's- uh, It's just an alligator farm. I have an issue with the S. <laughs> I put it where I shouldn't and I don't put it where I should. I don't like know- Like it's not shrimps, it's just shrimp. I don't say shrimps. That's one thing that I actually do not say. But I do say a lot of other things, apparently. My excuse is that it's not my native language, so I can always use that excuse. <laughs> this is the line to go into the castle. We're not doing that. We only have one day here, so we really don't have time to wait. So maybe next time. <laughs> so back in the day, this area here would have been all full of water, a moat. The ones that the, all the walls with the seashells? Or? Oh yeah, this was all brought in, yeah, absolutely. This it, was all quarried. So they found it, they, they put it together or they, they found it on the bottom of the water? Like no, 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 this was quarried. I don't so, know what quarried means. So they would have cut this out of a big area.
can't go more than an hour or so before Miha has to have some coffee. Is it coffee time again? What do you mean again? It's early morning. It's coffee time anytime. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so it is definitely coffee time. Anytime is coffee time. Hey, where's the place we're going now? The Colonial Quarter. Ah, yes. It's a living history museum. It looks really cool. And this is St. George Street, the most famous street. In St. Augustine. Yeah, and I see why. It's so pretty. It is. would have it says it's a living art museum or a living history museum and I kind of thought there would be actors at all these different stations I didn't think it would just be one, one person one and guy doing the tour. yeah so far I'm not that impressed I mean it's a cool place I love the history here well it's a lot of stories we don't have time if we had time it was different but yeah. we really don't have time to I gotta go to the bathroom. I was about to take a selfie on your phone. <laughs> I do that all the time. Are you dying? You take a picture of it, I take a picture of myself. Oh. Okay, babe, uh, that's something I don't really want to do. And my knees are very warm right now. Just from seeing that. Yeah. These people are actually paying to have their pictures taken with these huge, I guess, bows or. I don't actually know what kind of snake those were. Not only really that, but did you see that girl? She was like Yeah, petting she's petting it. it. Like it was a shawl. St. Augustine being one of the most historically dominant, paranormally active areas in North America. Could I really be up here in front right now? Oh, that would be interesting. You never know. What we're going to do, we 25 weddings every weekend here in this area. A lot of the brides that come out here and take their pictures because of different shades that will be imposed into their pictures. About five foot up, you will see a cannonball that is still lodged inside the wall today. It's been there for nearly close to 400 years. On our way for a sunset sailing cruise, we stopped by the famous St. Augustine Lighthouse and Maritime Museum. But unfortunately, it had already closed for the day. This is so amazing. 
I don't want this to end. I know, <laughs> this has been such a lovely evening. The yes. weather is perfect. It's perfect. The light is beautiful. The scenery is stunning. I know, I know. It's just, and, and the, the water is so calm. James, James Bond, that is, was telling us earlier that it's, uh, it's very rare that the water is so oh, calm. Oh, is that here. right? He's a sailor oh. as well. So, so this is very rare to have waters oh, so calm oh, here. Cool. And everybody's talking about how great the water is. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. And the bubbles for are good too. A relaxing. Yeah. yeah, and now we, we are close to sunset, so oh, yeah. we're gonna see it from it the water. It is looking nice. The next morning we were able to catch the sunrise on the beach, which you are actually allowed to drive on, which is pretty cool. Okay, you gotta come up with your own saying. I just like, until I get bored of this one, I'm just gonna keep using it. Um, well, like a snail, we have our home with us. Yeah, that's true. Like a couple of snails. We are leaving the Ocean Grove RV Resort in St. Augustine, Florida. And we are going down towards Everglades, where we're gonna spend the next two nights. We have a long way ahead of us again, six hours plus. Click the video to the left to watch our next episode from the Florida Everglades. So until next time, we'll see you on the road.